Hello everyone and welcome to the Nick Show. Today's the broadcast of the first very ever episode of this. And what are we doing here, right? <clears throat> well, we're gonna talk about some events and talk about a little motivation for ourselves, yeah? Yeah. Cause we all need a little bit of that, right? To make sure we're no we know we're doing alright. Right or left. Well, anyways, let's get right into it. First topic we have to talk about is Arizona lawmakers want porn to fund Trump's wall. What? So now, now as a country, we're gonna take porn and got an article pulled up here. But the, pretty much the synopsis of the article is saying that we should essentially ban porn and, yeah, ban porn and make there be a $20 fee, one-time fee, for people to be able to deactivate their parental lock that they would put on all of their devices <clears throat> to use that profit to make the wall. Hmm, that's great strategy by the public because just taking a wild guess, uh, we, we, sorry to say, but we're probably going to take a big L on this one, right? And why would we take an L? Porn is an addiction in our day and age. There is like teens suffering from porn addiction now. Sounds crazy, right? But that's the reality of our generation. Thank you, our generation. Uh, so, we've already lost. It's not even done yet, but I'm telling you we've already lost. If we're at a prime rate of porn addiction. What's gonna happen now is Juul's not gonna be a thing. We're not gonna have a thing with kids buying jewels. We're gonna have a thing with kids paying people to go get them phones that have porn unlocked on them, right? So this is what we are moving to as a country. So that is great. That's probably gonna put a spike and underage porn watching. As much as you think it limited, I don't think so. It'll probably bring more of an urge to, for the younger generations to want to watch porn there more. And this is probably a manipulation strategy. This is probably in some sense a test, don't we think? If you really think about it. If they make enough profit from this, one, it's probably not just gonna be a one-time fee. They'll probably make it a yearly fee because after everyone buys it the one time, they won't ever have a reason to keep capitalizing off of it, you know? So think about that. <clears throat> and then, two, don't we think that if it makes profit for them, they're probably gonna eventually try to use this as a federal law something to think about comment and tell me what you guys think about that all right enough about that shenanigans topic two blindfold not blindfold yeah blindfolded utah teen crashes car doing the bird box challenge people <laughs> Really, this is what we're doing now? Like, bird box challenge. Let, let's just take a couple steps back here. If blind people do, can't drive, why do we think it's okay to blindfold ourselves and drive? What? What sense or world are we in? Let's say 
let's just think about this from a logical perspective. Getting behind the car, blindfolding yourself, and driving to the GPS. When does a GPS ever tell you, hey, you're five feet away from another car? Phones don't have sensors and neither do GPSs. Until Elon Musk, my boy Elon is already in the future. Builds his car that can drive itself. We should not be doing the bird box challenge. Unless your car drives for you without one touch, you know, one correction on the steering wheel, maybe it's not a good idea to just Do, 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 do. Who would have ever thought of crash, right? Let's be smarter, guys. All right, all right, all right, all right. Enough about the boring stuff. Let's get into something fun. Did Soldier Boy have the biggest comeback of 2018? So I've seen all the Soldier Boy videos, and Soldier Boy made his own path. At least from my point of view, like. What, so Soulja Boy said it himself, what rapper has his own video game console? Yeah, it might not be a PS4 or a Xbox One or a Nintendo, but what other rapper has really jumped out of the box? Like, you know what I mean? And Soulja Boy brought to point something he has never brought to the stand yet. He pretty much told everyone that he was the reason for rap coming to media, to YouTube. Soldier Boy was the first rapper on YouTube, so he put out a platform, or he showed other people a platform they could use to build themselves. So, hmm, has Soldier Boy had the biggest comeback since ever, or what? Soulja Boy is playing chess and all the other rappers over here playing checkers. They don't even know how to move like Soulja Boy, right? Hmm. What do y'all think? Did Soulja Boy have the biggest comeback of 2018? Comment below. All right, y'all. Now let's get into some motivation. We're going to end it. I appreciate everyone who watched it so far. And, um... What I'm going to leave y'all with is uh, let's go do something positive. Do something for yourself starting today, tomorrow, whenever. You got to start to be great. You know what I mean? I want everybody to write down a goal, right? And accomplish it for the next week, every single day. Just write something down on a piece of paper, a whiteboard. Pull out your iPhone. Write it in notes. But start doing you. Invest in you. I appreciate everyone watching. If you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Peace out till next time, baby.